Hey guys, welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So as you can see in front of us, we're going to be having a closer look at the Great Aussie Coin Hunt coins. So the $1 coins from 2019. Now obviously 2019 was a very special year as far as dollar coins go. Uh, with, uh, well there was 26 of these guys plus the other uh, dollar coins with the JC, the IRB and a couple of others that were put into circulation. So many different $1 coins were put into circulation in 2019. So basically, I've been talking about this a little bit over the past probably month or so. And this video is a bit more about speculation, okay? So uh, trying to inform you a little bit about what may potentially happen, but still a little bit up in the air. So with so many different $1 coins being put into circulation in 2019, surely there's going to have to be some low mintage coins, uh, especially $1 coins uh, that were produced in 2019. So I'm putting my bets in some ways on these coins here. And uh, you'll notice here that I have one different, there is actually one other PNC that I don't have in front of me right now. And I have ordered them, but... Uh, Australia Post is taking forever to get them here and uh, understandably with what's going on here in Victoria uh, in stage 4 lockdown, Australia Post has had to limit their number of people that can actually uh, operate within their distribution centres, uh, which means that they have slowed things down a fair bit. So I'm actually waiting for these things and I've actually been waiting for the PNC. I'll just show you, I've got it up on my screen right here. That's the one I don't have in front of us, but I've been waiting a fair while for that one to turn up. But that's the A1, so Australia Post, and uh, you can get them still from the Australia Post website. All right, so let's keep going with what we've got in front of us here. So there were three different PNCs essentially put out at the time, and uh, we've got the Vegemite one here which is, uh, I love the design of this, and it's such an Aussie brand. And uh, and obviously it is on the coin there, so V for Vegemite. Now, these particular PNCs have a limited run. Uh, the coins, we don't know what the mintage is as of yet, but we will talk about that in a moment. Uh, and these have a limited number of, where it's six and a half thousand, okay? So I'm told that the one I just had up on the screen then is 7,000, uh, but I don't have it in hand, so I can't actually go and uh, confirm that. But uh, these ones definitely say six and a half. And then we've also got the Neighbours coin, and therefore the Neighbours PNC. Okay, and just a close-up of the coin there. All right, and they have the same number as well. So these guys here are seventeen ninety five now. Uh, part of the reason why I'm doing this video is I've actually been able to buy these from some of the coin dealers uh, for less than that, and I think I've been able to pick them up for around the fourteen ninety five type price. So uh, have a look around; they're they're certainly well worth grabbing a hold of. And the reason why I'm saying these may be worth holding on to. Uh, it's because we've heard rumors that potentially the full mintage of all of these coins is 9 million. Now, if you break that up, that let's, let's round it around 350,000 of each of these $1 coins. Now, 350,000 is extremely low. Okay, so we've got well, basically, we've got the 2016 changeover $1 coin at around 550000 And you've seen what has happened price-wise with those coins. And who knows? Uh, this, is, this is part of the speculation. And uh, you've got to try and sometimes if you want to get uh, a decent reward, you have to do what others aren't doing yet. And that is uh, holding these coins. So obviously we can find them in circulation. Uh, who knows what will happen with price? Obviously everything is going to be confirmed in the annual report, which will come out, and I've said this a million times, around the end of October 2020 
into early November. That's that's what's generally when it's been uh, coming out each and every year in the past. So, at the moment, these PNCs are certainly well worth grabbing a hold of. I just grabbed a couple of each, and uh, I do have a couple of the Australia Post ones coming. So, they're worth grabbing a hold of while you can. Um, these sets here, I've been checking to see, and this is what I want to do, is I want to talk about price, and uh, at hopefully at some stage in the future, maybe it might be a year, two, three years down the track, we will have a little look further at uh, what's going on with the price of these versus this actual video. Uh, these guys here in, in the roll and the folder, uh, they were available from the Mint and from Australia Post website for $49 and you had the opportunity to possibly get yourself a A coin with the envelope privy on it. And uh, I do have some individual ones, but this is the A coin there with that little envelope privy, which is not on the standard uh, the standard A coin that you'll find in circulation. Uh, mintage on that particular one is seven and a half thousand. So very special coin with that envelope privy. Uh, in these guys here with the uh, PNC, I was uh, lucky enough to get myself two of these and they were limited to 2000 as you can see there. So very special coin, that one there. Now, these were available for $49, I believe, $49. And uh, at the moment, they're probably a little bit pushing up a little bit north of that so around that sort of 50 to 60 dollars is sort of where they're sitting price wise a little bit more if you can come across one that hasn't been opened therefore it hasn't been checked to see whether or not it has the envelope privy on the a coin so yeah well worth hanging on to so what am i thinking i'm thinking price wise there's a few things that sort of may go against it uh the quality of these coins probably isn't super high and uh which in some ways is not a bad thing because if you want to get quality ones and if you want to get quality high graded coins those coins are going to be worth more especially if they're over ms66 or over that sort of high, um, higher grade and I've seen a number of these sort of coming in around that MS66, MS67, I think. Um, but I, ha I haven't seen too many coming in higher than that. I haven't checked the population report just based on what I'm seeing. So if you can get high grades of these particular coins, uh, those coins will be worth uh, substantially a lot more because I think it's going to be hard to get those kind of grades. So I took a little bit of a punt in some ways. I've... Um, I have decided to buy, well I did buy, uh, actually yesterday I bought all of the uh, all of the coins in bags, okay, so I have gone, I'll just chuck them all in front of you here, I won't bother opening up each of the bags, but uh, I've gone and grabbed all of the bags, A to Z, Okay, A to Z. So there's a bag in here for each of those coins. And so there's 26 bags, so 520 coins. Okay, so I found these on eBay and I made an offer. Now I'll tell you a little interesting story. I have had the intention of buying these coins for a few weeks. And I actually saw them on eBay uh, for someone was selling them, they had them listed as a uh, a best offer for a thousand and fifty dollars, and I thought to myself, okay, they've got best offer, I will offer a thousand dollars, and uh, I thought that was a reasonable a reasonable offer, and when I normally get offers, sometimes they're reasonable, sometimes they are really low ball offers, and people. People do that because they want to see just how desperate you are to sell uh, and whether or not there's room to negotiate. So sometimes you'll get an offer and let's say let's say I had a $300 item and uh, I generally try to overprice things slightly because people do want to try and negotiate and they will offer half of that. 
Now, sometimes I don't even bother, you know, justifying a response. Uh, other times I will try and push them up. And if I don't want to sell, I don't want to sell. Anyway, someone set one of these, one of these full bags, so A to Z, 26 bags, $520 worth of coins uh, for 1050 on eBay. I offered them $1,000. They, ne- they declined my offer and changed the listing up to $1,200, which I was a bit like, are you kidding me? Anyway, I didn't end up buying those ones. Uh, I think it was Thursday, I saw that someone was selling the exact same set and they had them listed at $920. I negotiated and we ended up agreeing at a price of $880. So hanging out a little bit longer actually saved me some dollars, which I was very thankful for. And that just means I've got some spare cash to put into something else, which I already have. Anyway, um, so... I will say this right now, if you're watching this video, I actually, the the person I bought these off on eBay is actually selling another set. I saw it last night there and they do have them listed at $920. So go and get yourself a bargain if you're interested in these coins. So basically I have paid $1.70 per coin, which I'm very happy with. That's fine. There's $520 there uh, worth of coins and I've, I've paid a little bit over that. And uh, I'm hoping that if they are low mintage and we're talking 350,000, then I've got the opportunity to either get these into a, say, a secondary party uh, rolling, um, coin rolling, so um, Cotton and Co. And um, maybe I can have them rolled or I can choose to leave them in the bags as they are. So... I will see what happens. So I just wanted to give you an understanding of exactly how much I've paid for these coins and what, um, I I don't know what's going to happen, but at $880, I'm quite happy uh, to sit on them for a little bit and uh, we'll know pretty soon what's going to happen with these coins and uh, it'll be interesting. Obviously, people are holding these coins and they have them in their collection. Uh, They may have one or two sets. So it's hard to know what's going to happen because the, essentially people are satisfied with what they have uh, will that push them up it might be a five-year thing before they really start to go up in price i think they will i think they're going to be low mintage are they going to be popular i don't think they're going to be as popular as the uh, as the changeover one dollar coin but uh, i think there's still some room for uh, movement price wise over the next few years so Anyway, it's up to you guys whether you go out there and hunt these. I keep them all at the moment because who knows, one of them may be a lower mintage than the others. So there may be a a more special one or a more sought after one. Uh, But who knows, they may be all the same figure no matter what. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed my little look at uh, at these coins. I'm not trying to hype up the market. I'm just trying to inform you. So I hope you see it that way. Uh, but certainly these PNCs can be bought at, uh, at the retail price, if not slightly lower, if you do your research and have a look around. Um, don't rely on eBay in this case. Have a look at the dealers. They're the ones who have these uh, in their hands at the moment. So... Alright guys, that is it. Thanks for watching and we'll certainly have another video coming up very soon.